Simple ET is a water-saving feature exclusive to IQ4. It allows users to program their controllers to receive weather data and adjust station run times based on the previous day's evapotranspiration. Evapotranspiration, known as ET, is the process by which water is transferred from the land to the atmosphere by a combination of evaporation from the soil and other surfaces and by transpiration from plants. Simple ET automatically adjusts individual stations each day according to the weather received from a global weather source. Simple ET uses the weather forecast data from the weather source in conjunction with a station-based runtime defined to calculate the required ET for the irrigation system. Setting up Simple ET is easy. Identify a global weather source for the controller and a base runtime for each station that are to respond to the daily ET values. The base runtime for each station should be chosen to properly irrigate during the highest average ET month of the year at the controller's location. IQ4 will gather ET values daily and automatically adjust the station runtimes accordingly. Here is an example of setting up simple ET for a particular controller. The highest monthly average ET for the site was received from the weather source and is set at 0.35 inches per day. The user inputs 15 minutes as a base runtime. IQ4 aligns these two values, so when an ET of 0.35 inches is received, the station will run for 15 minutes. If a lower ET is received from the weather source, the station will run for a shorter amount of time. If a higher ET is received, the station will run for a longer amount of time. On another day, an ET was received from the weather source by the controller at 0.25 inches per day. Since the received ET is lower than the station-based runtime ET, IQ4 will adjust the station runtime to 10.7 minutes for the example station. On another day, an ET was received from the weather source by the controller at 0.09 inches per day. Since the received ET is lower than the station-based runtime ET, IQ4 will adjust the station runtime to 3.9 minutes for the example station. IQ4 will perform this type of adjustment for all days that the station is set to run. Another example is a station set to run on a cyclical day pattern. For this station, the watering pattern is a three-day cycle. Simple ET will add the missed station's runtime from the day's watering and irrigate for that amount of time covering for the missed days. In this example, the ET for each missed day was 0.13 inches per day. IQ4 adds the ET from the missed days to total 0.39 inches. Since 0.39 inches is above the base ET of 0.35 inches, Simple ET automatically adjusts the station runtime to 16.7 minutes to cover watering mist on the previous days. During periods of low ETs, adjust the water days pattern to not water as often. This prevents shallow watering. Use group programming to set station-based run times that are identical. Watch the IQ4 setup video for more information. Simple ET uses a single start time. You cannot set multiple start times for your Simple ET based programs. If there is a concern for puddling and runoff, you can use the cycle and soak feature in each program. Simple ET will provide a maximum of 300% of the base runtime. Be aware of this for periods of very high ET values and for programs that have cyclical run days. Setting up Simple ET, as the name implies, quite simple. First, go to the system setup and select weather to establish a weather source. Click the add button to add the weather source. Type in a name and select a weather source type. Simple ET uses a global weather type. When prompted, type in a name or zip code and click done. Select the time zone of the weather source and enter the elevation of the location, then save. Next, select a controller from the controllers list. Click edit, scroll to the bottom of the menu and select the appropriate weather source. Then save. Next, select a program that you wish to edit. Under the ET Adjust label, 
Select the Simple ET option, then Save. Return to the controller and select a program. Select one or more stations, enter a base runtime for the stations, then Save. You'll notice in our example that we have selected a base runtime of 15 minutes. The forecast has been adjusted to 3 minutes 31 seconds to match the current day's ET value. If you have a program with multiple stations and identical runtimes, you can use the batch editing feature. Select the stations that have identical runtimes and click Edit. Select a base runtime, then Save. Thanks for watching. For more information, please visit our website.